Hello everyone. So today I was looking at my service desk and uh, I thought I'll probably talk about this particular question from Yamini and the question is I have a workflow moving from open to in analysis and when any user moves to in analysis I want to filter out based on uh, when this uh, transition happened. So basically the requirement I believe here is that uh, you may have uh, an issue and uh, when the issue is moved from let us say one status to another status usually the information of uh, what happened the change happened on that particular issue let us say transition in this case is tracked in the issue history. So if you're looking at this issue let us say you know I make a transition from in progress to done for example so basically you know i can uh, click on the done button after selecting the resolution of course i will then be of course able to uh, field time spent come on let me just fill it up and uh, now we have this transition which is uh, of course uh, uh, going to resolve the issue now this particular information of uh, when this transition happened is stored in the issue history. So there is a issue history here which is 11th of December when the issue was moved from in progress to done. Now let us say you want to find out all these issues based on uh, the transition date. Maybe you want to figure out uh, when or maybe let us say on uh, 20th of November give me a list of all the issues that were moved from to do to in progress or in progress to whatever done or resolved transition. So this can be done and uh, I thought I'll probably talk about it and also show you how to do it. So let us go to the issue navigator and search for the issues. So right now we are looking at all the issues in my Jira instance and what I'll do, I'll probably focus on only the only the um, Android project because we love Android. No, not really, not me, but uh, I'm a BlackBerry boy. I am a BlackBerry fan, but uh, I, I still use BlackBerry, uh, Android. I do use Android. So let us focus on Android project, which is one of the project in my Jira instance. And uh, what I'll do, I'll uh, try to figure out uh, this JQL. So what you can do and give it a try in your Jira instance. I think it is quite useful. So let us add a query here and uh, status changed so there is something called as changed from and uh, you have to figure out from let us say to do so you can write here to do to uh, what maybe um, on hold yeah let us try on hold and uh, this will give us some results but we want to figure out uh, when this happened uh, on a specific date so let us see what we can do here. So what we can do is we can do something like on and uh, we can say uh, here date. So what you need to do, you need to figure out the date format. So let me just try try this. Let us see if it works. So 2021, 11 and uh, maybe 21, I guess. So nothing here. 22, 23. So yes, we do have something on 23. Maybe 20, 26 as well. Maybe try at 26. Yeah, we do have something on 26. So let us check for 23 of 23rd of November. And uh, we, what we can do is we can open these issues separately. So 279 and 278. So what this query is telling us that these are these are the issues who were transitioned from on from to do to on hold on 23rd of November. And if I go to both of these issues, I can of course take a look at the history and validate whether this JQL is telling me the telling me the right thing. Or is, is it telling us the truth or something uh, something not correct so it seems like it is working fine so it is it says here on 23rd of November this issue was moved from to do to on hold 278 uh, is also I, I guess hopefully correct so on 23rd of November yes to do to on hold so it looks like it is working so what we can do is we can also try here maybe maybe let us uh, create a new issue maybe to let us create issue here and uh, what we'll do we'll change the status from uh, to do to maybe something else or maybe 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 the same thing maybe on hold i guess 
let us do it on hold so we have 288 which is uh, which is a bug so i'm just you know trying to validate because i believe in testing properly before uh, i mean if, if i'm delivering this although it's a simple jql but it is a solution so I let, us, let us say if i'm deliver, delivering it i need to ensure that it works perfectly so on hold so let, we have two issues where i moved them from to do on hold on to what date are we talking about here today is 11th of december i, I don't even know the date so sad 11th of december and uh, yes so it is correct so this is a jql a simple jql and uh, and uh, let me just save it as well because i mean i may want to use it again uh, status changed from to on date i guess this will be sufficient to explain this and that is all that is all i wanted to talk about today in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye